What is good, my beautiful peeps? I hope you're all well. I honestly, well, first of all, I'm sorry for not uploading on Friday. I can't even remember why I didn't. And then I was like, okay, I'll go ahead and upload on Saturday. And then I didn't because I thought I was going to go somewhere with someone. And then we ended up not going. So I was like, nah. And Tuesday or this Tuesday, I like legit could not think of an idea. And it wasn't until yesterday when I was leaving from work, it hit me. And it was like, you said you, you said that you were going to do this idea. So why haven't you done it? But anyways, we're here. This video, we're going to be reviewing. I know I said I was going to do all the products that I've gotten from the subscription that I get all the stuff for and, and whatnot. But to tell you the truth, I've used like a handful of these. Like I'd say maybe like 60, 65% of these products that I've gotten. So I'm only going to do the ones that I've used consistently, give you my opinion on them, what I think about them. And then for the other ones, I use, I think, like only like once or twice, three times maybe. And then kind of just like distort them away and then forgot about them. So for those other ones, that will probably be like a TikTok because it's not that many. So but anyways, let's get into it. Okay, first product. This is the... Innisfree Cherry Blossom Glow Jelly Cream, aka Gel Face Moisturizer. And I think, no, I did show you guys this one in the other video where I went out to Alma Ranch and all that fun stuff. Um, this is the moisturizer that I decided that I was going to use as a nighttime moisturizer only because of the simple fact that I already have one that I use during the day, which is this one. It's the Holy Hydration Moisturizer from e.l.f., which I need some more because there's literally like where my finger is at, that's how much is left. So we gotta get some more. And then I also gotta get some more eye cream. Anyways, um, if I had to give this like a rating, I would honestly give this a 10 because it hasn't like made me like break out and it goes on so smoothly and the scent is not overwhelming because it's cherry, cherry, black. can't speak, oh my God. Cherry blossom, which is like, there's like a faint scent of cherry. It's not overwhelming. So, but yeah, 10 out of 10 for this one. Definitely going to be buying this again in a full size once it runs out. All right, next thing is this sugar scrub. This is the, it just says Appeal. Appeal Melon Crush Body Scrub. Now this one, love her. Oh my God. And it smells so good. It smells so good. That is a 10 in my book. It smells good. So, <laughs> and I mean, most of you are like familiar with sugar scrubs, you know, so I don't think you need to, I don't think I have to go into detail to like, this is a 10 off the bat simply because of the fact that it's a sugar scrub. So next product. This one is the Cori's Greek Yogurt Nourishing Probiotic Gel Cream. I barely just started using this one, I think, what, like, a couple weeks ago, I think, or something like that. And I use this only at night, and I apply it to my neck, and my neck is a lot more smoother and not as dry. Like, I never noticed how dry my neck actually was until after I started applying it at night. And I was just like, where, where have I been to not be, like, consistently using this? Like, what? Okay, that one I will give a 10. Most of these probably won't be all 10s, but, you know, I'm biased as fuck, so we'll see. Next thing is the Nip and Fab Purify Clay Mask. It, this is the one that has that word that I can't pronounce, so we're not even going to attempt because I already know it's... I already know I'm going to butcher it, so... This one, I'm going to have to give a 7.5, only just because when I um, applied it... No, I'd say a 9 yeah a nine the reason why it's not a 10 is because when i started or when i had applied it to my face it was burning and so i was like bro uh-uh no so yeah that's the only reason that this is a nine but it smells really good though so yeah nine for her 
And then last for the skincare or like the, yeah, this isn't a skincare product. Regardless, this is the Diana's Goat Milks hand cream. And she, oh my God, I use her every day, use her every day. And this is much better than lotion because you know why? Because there's goat milk in here and it smells like, what's the scent on this? Blood orange. Smells good. So 10 out of 10 for the goat cream or for the goat milk hand cream. Okay, that was the skincare products and now we're moving on to the um, makeup products. I know there wasn't a lot of skincare for that one because as I said, the other ones that I got, I haven't used them consistently enough to give you like an honest review. So I'm gonna, I'm just gonna leave those for a later time. And that's that. Anyways, again, moving on to the makeup and we're going in with the Benefit Fan Fest mascara, which I think, I think y'all saw me apply this one in that last video. Um, this one is an automatic tint in my book because of two things. One, it's not clumpy, and two, I don't find remnants of mascara days after of taking it off. There's one mascara, I think I have it. I think I have it somewhere, hold up. I do. This one, I used to love this one because it made my lashes, like it just, I just loved this one. But this one is very clumpy, or not clumpy, it just, I'm, I always find remnants of it days after of taking it off which is why i stopped using it completely i was like i'm not a fan of that and then it's like every time i go to apply or before i go to apply a coat i have to like take off like excess amounts of it because there's a lot wait hold on. let me show you that may not look like a lot but it is trust me and then there's this one That one doesn't look as um, as thick as that one, so. But that's why this one is a 10. So definitely gonna be keeping her and yeah. Next thing is the lip gloss. This is the Binding Ferdinand gloss color. I think this is a shade Thorn, I think. I've used this once, no twice, because the first time I was trying to do a lip liner, which ended up being a full lip instead. <laughs> but just like with lipstick and lip gloss on top. Um, and then the second time I used it, I tried to do a lip liner again, which actually came out as a lip liner and not like a full lip. Um, and it came out so well, it came out so well. 10 out of 10 for this one. And that's all I gotta say about that. Next thing. All right, this is the Pixie Color. Hold on, cause I always forget what this one's called. This is the Pixie Color Corrector Stick in the shade by Under Eye. I think I may have given y'all my opinion on this. I'm not sure. I don't think I have, but in case I haven't, I'm going to give it to you again. This one is a automatic 10 because uh, at first, when I first got this, I was like, mm, what the hell? But then once I started, but then once I applied it and then I bleh. Once I applied it and blended it in, I was like, what the fuck? Wow. Your girl was shook it. I was like, oh my gosh, this is fucking amazing. So I don't use it like, well, no, I use this pretty often, but I don't wear, there's, sometimes I go like maybe like a week without wearing makeup. And then there's other weeks where I will probably wear makeup like maybe once or twice or even three times even but she is definitely has been a prominent um product in my routine and i am gonna be so sad when this runs out but i can always go get another one you know so that's fine anyways next product this one this is the billion dollar brows billion dollar brow lift i can't even remember wait no I only really use this if I'm going for like a full glam look, if I want the brows to be like absolutely slay. But other than that, um, if I want them to like actively like stay in place, I don't use this. I use the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer because it works well as an eyebrow gel. So I don't. 
But I don't use the I don't use this one as an eyebrow gel because it doesn't say a place for real long. But anyways, I will give this a hmm. I would give this a eight, honestly, because again, it doesn't really stay in place. And I don't like how like the residue or how sometimes like I get like the residue that gets left behind when I or after I apply it. So that's why that's an eight. But we're gonna rock with her, so yeah. Alright, next thing is the this is the Scone Luke's Lip Liner in the shade Mudslide. So this is the one that I obviously did to uh, do the lip liner. So I use this and this. Bro. I think I have a new favorite lip combo. I'll just say that. Okay, so we got two more things to view after this. So let me see. This is why I don't like using this mascara because it's just like I got a bunch of it all in my hand. Okay, before we even go on to the products, or to the last two final products, I gotta show you something. Look at the- okay, so, as y'all know, with this sip sip- well, what the fuck, I can't speak English today, what the hell. Every time I get stuff from this subscription, it always comes in a bag, like I have always shown you since I got the first one. Just wanna show y'all how many bags I got so far. So, this one is from March, the very first one that I did. This one is from April, which I really love a lot because of the small little peach right here. It's so cute. This one is from May. This one is from, so as I said before, we skipped June and July because I had to pause my subscription for a bit. So we went on to August. I think this is based off of the Olympics, I think, or some shit like that. And then, of course, the last one I did, which is September. I cannot wait to show you the October bag. I don't know what's in the bag. All I know is... I know what the bag looks like. Or do I? No, I don't. Why did I, why did I lie like that? What the hell? My bad. Sorry. False alarm. Disregard that completely. Anyways, but yeah. So these are all the bags I've gotten so far. And I love all of them. Anyways, last two products. So this is the Kosas Concealer. Love her. Gonna have to give this one a 7.5 because... Well, no. I'm gonna give it an 8.5 two things because i feel like this one creases or has been creasing a bit but i just think it's just because of like how high i put it like under like i think it's because i put it too close to my eye right here but once i started like going lower I can't tell so we're gonna bump that up to a nine actually um but the but not 10 stars because of the price because the full size for this is like 30 bucks and i'm like what do you think i look like paying 30 i will find a whole other concealer so i'm gonna be kind of sad when that one runs out but yeah anyways last product i don't even i don't even hold on what serena wet dry so this is basically a wet dry um palette i think i've used this one once I tried to do a liner with this particular shade. I don't know with that with yeah with that shade and this shade right here. And honestly, mm, I'd say a seven because it didn't show up that well. It's not very pigmented, so seven for that one. All right, y'all, and that concludes the video. Once again, the other products that I haven't consistently used enough to give an honest and full review on them or to give like my honest thoughts on them will probably be posted in the TikTok because there's not that many. Because some of the other ones are the ones that I did for, for this video. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five. That's 13 products that I've done. The other ones is probably maybe more than that, maybe less. But that will probably be for a TikTok video instead of a YouTube video. Because otherwise it would just be super short. Anyways, that concludes the video. I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you have not already, make sure you comment, like, subscribe. And I will actually see you guys for Makeup Tales Friday tomorrow. Don't be late. Bye.